and I figure this was the easiest way of doing it. Whenever life gets you down, Mr. Rincewind, and you feel you've had enough, when you've nowhere to run, and you're running out of fun, and you feel that you've had quite enough, just remember that you're standing on a platter that's revolving a series of imaginative turns. It's standing on the back of four elephants who lack any sign that they're receiving friction burns. <laughs> the sun and moon and all are relatively small. They go underneath the disc and through the sky. And it follows logically this is the only place you'll see an elephant cock its leg to let the sun go by. <laughs> The elephants you've seen are Taboo and Cherokee, Beryllia and, of course, the great Tafon. And according to the myth, there used to be a fifth. We're not entirely sure where that one's gone. <laughs> he might have slipped and fell, tumbled off the shelf, and performed a partially parabolic splat. <laughs> it was hotter than a sauna, lots of deep fried megafauna, and a billion tons of rendered jumbo fat. <laughs> Pachyderms are standing on the vast and ancient shell of the world turtle whose name is the Great Atuan. We don't yet know its sex or where it's going next, but we think that it will probably get there soon. <laughs> well, now the stars that you can see could well turn out to be a thousand unhatched giant turtle eggs. This world is flat, not round, it's the only one we found with Plymouth's beak, five tails, and sixteen legs. <laughs> <laughs> So the disc world travels on, and on and on and on, on, carried by this pangalactic beast. As fast as it can go, the speed of light you know, which around here is not impressive in the least. <laughs> so if you're out there and crawl, looking down, how amazingly terrific is the risk? And pray that there's intelligent life somewhere out in space, cause there's bugger all down here on the disc. <laughs>